Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Highway Survey and Design class. Let's start to learn about some special components of cross section. Escape lanes are common on freeways, especially designed on the right side of the downhill direction in long steep sections for vehicles that lose control. They are mainly composed of leading lanes, braking lanes, service lanes, and auxiliary facilities. There are four types: uphill, level, downhill, and sand pile. Each type is used under different circumstances. Life is precious. Safety is paramount. Establishing appropriate escape lanes on accident-prone sections can save both vehicles and the lives of drivers and passengers passing through. Berms and platforms reserved between the base of the subgrade slope and the top of the inside slope of the borrow pit to protect the base from water erosion and ensure side slope stability with width from one to two meters. Or even wider than four meters. Their purpose is to widen the lateral distance of the side slope to reduce the average gradient. The wider the berm, the more beneficial it is for side slope stability. But the engineering volume increases accordingly. The width should be at least one meter according to the actual situation and increase with the height of the filling. If the excavation side slope is unstable and prone to falling rocks or debris, posing a safety hazard, and the debris can block the side ditch, the most direct solution is first reinforcement of the slope, second, the construction of a stage for heaping debris. A stage for heaping debris, in simple terms, provides a wide platform specifically for the debris from the side slope. Which is then regularly cleaned. The width depends on the side slope height and soil quality, generally not less than one meter. If the side slope is adequately reinforced or its height is less than two meters, a stage for heaping debris may not be necessary. The stage for heaping debris is part of the auxiliary engineering of the subgrade. Borrow pit refers to the neatly dug earthwork. Along the road for taking soil to build the subgrade or for maintenance purposes. During the construction of highways, there is a lot of excavation and fill, generally using the excavated material for fill to save on engineering volume. However, if the transport distance is too long, it's not economical, and borrow pits for borrowing soil are needed. Borrow pit is divided into the roadside excavation and concentrated excavation outside the road. In areas where the ground cross slope is not steeper than one to ten, borrow pits can be set on both sides of the subgrade. For areas with a cross slope steeper than one to ten, the pits are best placed on the higher side of the terrain, so they can also serve as catchwater drains. The recommended depth of borrow pits is no more than one meter, but in agricultural areas, to minimize the occupation of farmland, deeper and narrower excavations are preferable, with the depth adjusted based on geological and hydrological conditions. Concentrated excavation outside the road should be situated on barren hills, wastelands, and higher terrain, with the width and depth of borrow pits. Planned and arranged in coordination with local conditions. The inner side of the borrow pit should have a side slope of one to one point five, and the outer side should not be steeper than one to one. Correspondingly, there is the waste bank. Waste bank refers to neatly piled soil discarded from subgrade excavation within a certain distance along the road. Waste banks are usually placed in wastelands or depressions below the cutting. When the ground cross slope is less than one to five, waste banks can be set on both sides of the cutting. And if a water catch water drain is required above the cutting, it should be placed outside the waste bank. The top surface of the waste bank has a cross slope of two percent, and the height is generally not more than three meters. With the side slope not steeper than one to one point five, when excavating subgrade, 
Consider moving excavation for filling or using waste for farmland to reduce waste. Prevent improper disposal of waste from affecting the cutting site slope or causing soil erosion. We should construct with environmental protection in mind, strictly preventing the random disposal of construction waste that affects the surrounding environment. We just discussed many special components of the cross section. Dear students, do you know that they are not present on every road, but are set up as needed? With human progress and the development of traffic, future transportation will involve many elements we cannot imagine. Advances in technology will break traditional thinking, and it is expected that the number of special cross-section components will gradually increase. That is the content of this lesson. Thank you all. Thank you.